What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. <sighs> well, it has been a struggle this week, let me tell you. I've been out like five or six times to try to film a video and either I didn't catch enough fish or the weather was terrible or it was too windy. Today, it's pretty windy as you can probably tell, but you know what I said? I put my foot down and I said, I'm going fishing and I'm making a video. So here I am at this beautiful little stream in the middle of town. We're gonna be going for some brown trout today. Probably one of my favorite trout species to target. They're mean, they're aggressive, and they can get pretty big. Yeah guys, hope you enjoy this video. Let's get down there and let's get fishing. All right, well, that water is freezing cold and I've just got shorts and flip-flops. Oh, ooh, that's freezing. That's lit, this, guys. This water is all snow melt from the mountains. So it is literally like a day from melting and it is freezing cold. First lure I'm gonna be starting off with today, the classic Rapala. I've caught everything from trout to catfish on these babies. The best lure for fresh water, in my opinion. Oh, oh, I got a fish. <laughs> Guys, I didn't, oh, there he goes. That wasn't, okay, that was just tiny. Yeah. <laughs> I was lifting it out of the water. And then I guess he just grabbed a hold of it right at the last second. That was funny. Oh, there's one. There's one. There we go. Oh, my. Oh, he threw the hook. Son of a nut. Oh, one chased it. Oh, you guys. Why do they do that? They literally chase it all the way up to your feet. And then they say, no. Got you, you mother. Gotcha. Got him, boys. That feels like a good one. Oh, that, that is a good, whoa, that's, that, that's what I'm looking for. Don't come off. This is what I want right here. Oh my gosh, that's a good fish. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I don't know how well he's hooked. Wipe my hands for the snowflakes. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there you go, guys. Check that out. That is what I'm after. Gorgeous brown trout. That is what I am after. Oh, he crushed that Rapala. This is not a bad sized fish either. Probably about... I don't know, 16 inches, but look at those colors, man. This is what I love. Spring brown trout. <laughs> oh man, one of my favorite things to do. Oh, there we go, he's kicking. There he goes, guys. There he is. Who off to eat more, more little fishies. Wow, that feels so good, guys. You have no idea. It has been such a hard week for fishing and that really really makes the soul feel good. Oh my gosh, guys, check this out. We have some snails here. A nasty snail. And another one. And another, oh, where'd he go? Right there. A snail. I haven't seen snails here for a while. I wonder if these work good as bait. You know what, guys? I think we should try them for fishing bait, right? I mean, that's the obvious answer, right? So I'm gonna walk around, see if I can find any more of these guys, and maybe we'll throw one on a hook. There's one right there. Good size one, too. There's one. There's one right there. Oh no, the little guy got away. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Ooh, big guy right there, look at that. Look at that dude. 
big mean fella. And I just thought of something really stupid, but I don't know, it might be kind of entertaining. I'm gonna use one of these guys' bait for a while. If it doesn't work, we're gonna try eating these things. Hope and pray to the good Lord above these things work as fish bait because I was planning on having dinner out here and uh, well, the fish just really aren't biting right now. So let's throw one of these guys on a hook, see what happens. We're going to use this little dude as bait since I accidentally kind of crushed his shell. Sorry, buddy, but uh, yeah, we're gonna give this guy a try. I feel mean, but I'm just gonna peel his shell off. There we go, just like that. Thread him on the hook here, just like a worm, and there you go. And I have to imagine these trout eat snails. I mean, there's a ton of them around here, it looks like. And, I mean, one's gotta fall in the water every now and then. I'm sure a trout won't pass that up. All right, well, let's give this a toss. I'm just gonna cast upstream and just completely let the current do its thing. Just kind of reel in the slack. Hmm. I mean, I'd think that if the trout saw it, there's no way it wouldn't eat it. It's really, really slimy, probably has a lot of oils and a pretty strong smell coming off of it. So I'm pretty sure, I think it's just a matter of getting it in front of a trout's face. I just got a bite. Dude, I'm getting a bite. No way. I'm getting bites. I'm gonna let him eat it. No freaking way. I was not expecting this to work. I'm getting bites. I'm just gonna... Please. No! Dang it, he came off. But you guys, look at that. I don't... You... Oh, I don't know if you watched my rod tip. I was actually getting bit on the snail. Let's try that again. Well guys, that was interesting. I did get a bite on the snail. I don't know if you guys saw my rod tip, but I was getting a bite. So that must mean that they eat snails, but we're running out of daylight. And uh, guys, we're gonna try to cook up those other snails I caught. I know people actually eat snails, like they're a delicacy in some places and they serve them in restaurants. And I heard, from, from what I hear, people either hate them or they really like them. So I'm about to break out my catch and cook setup and let's get cooking. I gotta say you guys, I did not think the next meal I would be cooking in this pan would be snails. But who knows, maybe it'll be really, really good. You don't know until you try it. All right, so you may be shocked to know this, but I've never cooked a snail before, so I have no idea what to do. I'm just pretty much just gonna cook it like a fish, because, I mean, you can pretty much fry anything, it'll taste okay. I'm gonna go ahead and set the pan on, and I'm just gonna take some butter, throw it down there. There we go. And then in here with the night crawlers, we have our snails. Look at that. I mean, it's kind of bait. It can also be food, I guess. So, one by one, we're just gonna take these guys and just peel their shell off. Oh, and then you know what we're gonna do? He's still alive, but I'm gonna take a rock and just kill him really quick. All right, and then I'll just do it to the rest. Guys, I just made a mistake. I forgot to bring seasoning. I brought butter, but no seasoning, which of all days to forget the seasoning, I'm cooking something that probably needs the most flavor to drown out the flavor of itself. We got our butter melted, and we got our snails right here. I'm only gonna cook three because, you know, <laughs> unless I like them a lot, then I'll probably go gather, gather up a bunch and have myself a feast. Yeah, I guess we'll just drop them in here one by one. Just like that. Move them around. Look at that. Ooh, doesn't that look appetizing right there? Nice little snail. Honestly, I think they're done. How do you know when a snail is done? Hmm. All right, well. Ooh. 
Look at that. Some of you guys probably have eaten snails and know how to cook them, but honestly, I have no idea. There's one thing to do now. Let it cool off a little bit. First time trying snail. Hmm. I'm telling you right now, do not eat snail. <laughs> I probably didn't cook them right, but that is the worst texture. They taste like nothing. It tastes like rubber. That's the worst texture I've ever, dude, I need some McDonald's after that, bro. I can tell you right now, I will not be eating these guys. I mean, look at that. Just look at that. I mean, have you ever seen a more less appetizing thing than that? Oh my gosh. We won't be needing that. Apparently the fish like them. I mean, I did get bites. Oh, guys, don't eat snail. Make sure we clean out this pan very good. That is nasty. I gotta say, I would have much rather preferred a fish. Well guys, after that delicious riverside snack, I'm gonna do a little more fishing. See if I can get a nice fish to cap off the day. It's starting to get dark, so hopefully the fish are coming out. So for the last 20 minutes of the day or so, I'm gonna be throwing this around, see what we can get. <sighs> All right. Just throw it right there and bring it softly through. That's a fish. Yes. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a, that's a really good one. <gasps> okay. Yeah, I get excited, but that's a nice fish right there, boys. <laughs> oh, he crushed the big old four inch Rapala, baby. Check that out. That's a stud. That is a freaking stud. Check this out. This is actually like the second biggest trout I've ever caught out of here. I just realized that. It's actually really big. Check that out. That's got to be like 17 inches or so. The GoPro doesn't do it justice, let me tell you. Look at that trout. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. Guys, if I caught this guy earlier, I wouldn't eat him. I'd let him go. This is too beautiful. Too big. Look at that. And he crushed the Rapala. Look how much he wanted that. Man. Fish like this at least in this stream, not as common. This is definitely an above average trout. So we're definitely gonna get him back here. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, guys, boom. That feels so good, so good. This time of year, the big ones come out to play. You don't catch as many, but you get fish like that, and that is worth it for me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? This guy came out of nowhere. Wow, that is pretty funny. Catch one of the biggest fish I've ever caught out of here. And then this is literally, I think, the smallest, or one of the smallest trout I've ever caught out of here. And look at that bait, dude. He was definitely trying to mate with it, I believe. Get out of here. By the way, guys, before I forget, shout out to Adris Ramiskun. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. And Kyrone Klain. Thank you guys for watching and commenting. Really appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. I could see him come up. That was really cool. I could see him come out of nowhere and just boom. There he goes. <laughs> that was cool. Sometimes it's not even seeing the fish when they're small like that. It's just watching them like hit it and feeling that bite. These Creek Browns, oh my, are aggressive, I was about to say. There you go. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, lesson for today, don't eat snails. 
unless cooked by Gordon Ramsay. I wouldn't suggest it, but who knows? They might work really, really well for uh, fishing bait. I did get bites on that one. So I'd rather catch a fish on the snail and then eat the fish. But you know what? Still had a fun time. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you're new. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, you guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.